In a decisive move, King Charles has tackled the ongoing royal housing saga, leaving Prince Harry and Meghan reeling. The 75-year-old monarch orchestrated a strategic maneuver that not only impacts his son, Prince Harry, but also his brother, Prince Andrew, in one fell swoop, sending a clear message about residency within the royal fold. Let's start with Prince Andrew. Andrew, still tainted by his association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, is being politely encouraged to vacate his palatial 30-room royal lodge in Windsor. Instead, he's being nudged towards Frogmore Cottage, the very place Harry and Meghan were booted from last year. Despite his vehement denials of any wrongdoing, Andrew's tarnished reputation seems to have finally caught up with him. According to royal expert Tom Quinn, this move is a two-for-one special for Charles. It tells Harry that as a mere private citizen with no royal duties, he shouldn't expect to be welcomed back to Frogmore Cottage any time soon. It also reminds Andrew that having disgraced himself, he's no longer entitled to live like a king. Quinn explained to the Mirror, for King Charles, forcing Andrew to move to Frogmore solves several problems at once. It sends a message to Harry that, as a private citizen and no longer a working royal, he will never be allowed back to Frogmore. Quinn continued, it sends a message to Andrew that, having disgraced himself, he can no longer expect to live in the grand style. And finally, it means that a suitably grand residence can be made ready for the royals who really matter, William and Kate. Charles has determined that Royal Lodge is the only residence on the royal estate at Windsor big enough and regal enough for his heir. He noted, this strategic shuffle is all about maintaining a regal home for the true heir, Prince William, and his family. Charles is adamant that the Royal Lodge, the grandest residence on the Windsor estate, is reserved for his heir. Yet, true to form, Prince Andrew is dragging his feet. Despite the obvious benefits of Frogmore Cottage, like being within Windsor Castle's security cordon, Andrew is reportedly taking his sweet time accepting his new, downsized reality. An insider told the Times that Andrew is slower than desirable to face the fact, even though it means less hassle for security arrangements. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan, who are ousted from Frogmore Cottage after fleeing to California, can kiss their royal residence goodbye. This eviction underscores their increasingly tenuous connection to the royal family. Prince Harry's chances of reclaiming Frogmore are slimmer than ever. Tom Quinn reiterated that Charles's actions highlight Harry's non-working royal status and cement his exclusion from the royal residences. Charles is clearly focusing on those who actually contribute to the monarchy, leaving Harry and Meghan out in the cold. And let's not forget Andrew's attempts to cling to his luxurious royal lodge. Despite having no formal income, Andrew is determined to renovate and hold on to his mansion. His stubbornness in the face of Charles's clear directive is almost admirable, if it weren't so out of touch. Charles's actions are a masterclass in royal real estate management, realigning Frogmore Cottage and reaffirming the importance of the Royal Lodge for Prince William. This move is more than just a housing reshuffle, it's a clear statement about who holds significance in the royal hierarchy. In navigating these family dramas, Charles is showing his commitment to upholding the monarchy's standards while addressing the complex dynamics within his family. And as Harry and Meghan watch from across the pond, the message is unmistakable, the royal train's moving on without them.